I still hear a zombie, but tough. Thinking he's up there. And yeah, this is a uh, nice war scarred area now. But the important point here is that I'm going to make my portal out here. Uh, this the bit. Okay, I'll dig it with a bucket of lava. Sure, that makes perfect sense. Just evening that out. And I think I want the portal itself right here. So, let some water in so that I can make instant obsidian. There we go. I can actually pick up a thing of water for the rest of it. And... Is that... <laughs> Something burning up right by the tree there, and there's a creeper over there, yeah. I see it's uh, business as usual out here. Okay. There. Water flows really weird when it's near an edge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, really weird. <laughs> um, hello, cow. Are you trying to smoke me? Because you succeeded. Okay, and... There we go. So that's... Two, three, four... I need to place one more, and then I'll be done for the moment. Okay. So, place the water there. That should make it avalanche all over the place here. Waterfall all over the place, I guess. Okay. That gets me started on that. Another creeper up there. Hi, creeper. Okay, and back down to gather more lava. And might as well stow those two gunpowder while I'm thinking of it. And, for that matter, get the sand started cooking. Because, you know, I like glass. There we go. And once more, down to get lava. Doesn't that look like a great monument to silliness? <laughs> Of course, it's sillier than some of you may know. And I'll explain why, uh, probably about when I finish the portal. Okay, so... One, two, needs to go up one more on this side. Eh, yeah, crap. That's not where I wanted that. Okay, so I'm gonna need my, uh, diamond before I can finish the board. Jump over here. Uh, yeah, climb up to the spot where I was an idiot. And of course I have nothing left to build with, so I go right back down. Hey, dirt, I need some of you. Hey, creepers, please don't be attacking my back while I'm getting the dirt. <laughs> they seem to have listened. Okay, so now that I've got dirt, I can use it to create a nice elevated spot for the water to fall from. Yeah. 
and get the really weird view of what happens when you get inside the water there. Okay, so we need one there, and there. And so now this is almost done, aside from my little bit of idiocy there. Break out the middle here. And go get that diamond. Okay, now I should be able to make a safe platform under the diamond out of dirt here. There we go. And now this should be completely safe to harvest. Excellent. Back up. And grab the wood that I just worked for. Because I now need it to make sticks. And with all those sticks, I can first off make a diamond pick. Nah, I don't feel like making a diamond shovel as well. However, I do feel like making a few more ladders. In fact, I'll, need, I'll be able to get four ladders out of this. And enough sticks left over that I can actually do something useful with. Which is nice. And put everything back in the chest here. Ah, I never <laughs> fixed my uh, inventory setup back to the way it was. Okay, so... Put the diamond pick in that place for the moment. Grab the shovel there. And yeah, that already looks pretty ominous. Well, it should be pretty ominous. Because, like I said, this is, um, kind of a stupid thing for me to do. You see, what what I'm building here, if you haven't figured it out, is the portal to Hell. And Hell has these really nasty monsters in it called ghasts. That are, um, sort of like the ranged equivalent of creepers. These wouldn't be a problem, except for the fact that ghasts will spawn in this world near portals. So I've basically just guaranteed that sooner or later a ghast is going to spawn here and probably shoot me while I'm in front of my house and destroy the front of my house. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Let's say it'll certainly be interesting. And I forgot my flint and steel, which is okay by me, because that means I get to put my diamond pick away. And I really kind of don't want to have that when I'm out, you know, consulting with uh, hell here. I'm going to hold on to the iron pick, because I may want to do things with it. And I'm going to... Uh, no, I'm not going to make torches, because I don't have the wood for it. Leave my ladders here. Basically leave everything that I don't think I'm going to need here. And I am going to take the bucket because, well, there's lots of lava in hell. Oh, I do sort of need the flint and steel, though. If I can get out my door. So it's getting to be night. Perfect time for night to come here because you now I'm about, I'm about to go somewhere even more dangerous the night outside. Because this is my portal to hell. Or as the game calls it, the nether. But they, I still call it hell because, well, they, that's kind of what it looks like to me. <laughs> Maybe not any particular culture's version of hell, but it, it looks pretty ghastly anyway. That pun not intended. <laughs> And this will be the first that I've seen of it outside of the previews. 
Okay. Well, it certainly looks hellish. I'm gonna start by collecting some of this. I have no idea what it is. What the hell was that noise? Am I hearing the portal, or... Oh crap, that might be... Uh... What the hell? I, I swear it looked for a moment like something else was going to spawn out of the portal. Oh god, the sounds in this place are terrifying. Um... Yeah, I think that's enough for now. I'm gonna get back out of here. Yeah! Wow! Um... That, that was a lot of creepy noises. And it's dark out here, so I'm quickly going to run back to my house. And get back inside, and close the door. And stare out in terror at that portal that I just created. Um, yeah. So I found 15 pieces of hellish rock, I guess. I have no idea what it's used for, except that I'm pretty sure this is the one that you can set on fire and it will burn forever. Which is a cool ability, I guess. So... I, I kind of want to find somewhere to put a piece of this just as you know, decoration. Like right about there. And apparently you can't set the sides of it on fire, which is annoying. But that's okay, I, I can move it down a step and not have it be a problem there. In fact, I can clear this out a little bit. And then... Yeah, let's put it right there. Just over my... Oh, can I still get down here? No. Okay, so it needs to go one step higher there. Right about there. Okay, so... If I can time it right, there we go. I now have a uh, hellish ever-burning rock to mark the entrance to my uh, tunnel down to bedrock. Well, I, I suppose it's not really to bedrock yet, but it's close enough. It's down to the diamond and lava zone. Yeah. Uh, what the hell have I done? <laughs> I, I I knew this was a stupid idea going in. I, I didn't realize the portals were going to be making scary noises. <laughs> that, that actually worries me more than the gas do. <laughs> oh, man. But I, I've got a nice piece of uh, Hellrock here, and some more Hellrock that I have no idea what to do with. Um, uh, Can I make a tool out of it? I don't know. But let's see if I can make tools out of it. It seemed pretty fragile, so okay, now it can't make tools out of it. Uh, it can I get something making it in a box shape? Can I fill it in all the way? Uh, I have no idea what this might make. Uh, ladders? I don't know. I have no idea whether this block has any use or not. Uh, other than, you know, burning forever. Which sort of suggests that it's probably one of the things used for making lanterns, which, as far as I know, aren't in the game yet. So, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, this was uh, pretty stupid. I'll just put my hell rock away here. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> lovely. This was stupid. Uh, th th this has been scared of Minecraft. I I'm really scared of the bit of Minecraft right over there. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. I hope you liked it.